Hey, what's going on guys? Kumekikens here. So we continue our work on building the GUI for our CNC chess engine Wukun. By the way, uh, my International Western Chess uh, Wukun uh, version 1.4 has just been rated by Sergio Martinez. It's now 1800 yellow points, but the, ver the latest version 1.5 should be at the very least around 100 yellow points stronger. And that's a very rough estimate strength for this CNC engine that we're working with now as well because uh, the surge is absolutely the same and the evaluation, I can measure the evaluation because the evalu evaluation in CNC matters probably even more in, than in West, uh, international Western chess, but I think that they are about equal. So I'm not sure about the ratings in CNC. If someone of you guys know that, please let me know in the commentaries. Just to quickly prove what I've just said regarding Wukun JS, uh, I want to show you this. So, Wukun JS, here it is, 1812, 1812, and again, like so, what are we are doing now? Oh, why did they they use the link for a previous project? Okay, this is the new one, and. We're now making something similar to what I was doing with this international Western chess. But now we, with this CNC board, it really seems to be like this <laughs> background image was actually created. So it's also cool, but I think this is really more natural. So I, I really how I, I really like how this sort of stuff works, especially this uh, moves for PGNs. So more uh, clean UI, just a little bit better. So yeah, uh, let's keep. Let's keep working. So one, so we have implemented the themes. We have implemented the Romanized pieces. Uh, yeah, and but we didn't yet implement uh, traditional. But we didn't yet implement the flip board. So we, uh, in order to implement the uh, the flip board, well, I don't know. Probably I just get stuck now uh, with this sort of a stuff. So flip is equal, so what's, yeah, flip is equal to zero. So yeah, I guess if I just now start uh, debugging this, it would be given weird results and I get stuck, as it always happens. So well, obviously, yeah, this is not the case. Uh, what has happened, man? Oh, so just malforming the, okay, malforming. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> something has gone horribly wrong. So, uh, this was the biggest number for the columns. So let's try to switch this to 11 and this one to 14. Uh, I have no idea whether this works or not, but did it just work? <laughs> okay, uh, okay, so is it so easy? Oh, come on. Okay, so I wanna check uh, one more little thing before we proceed. Uh, so, well, first of all, first of all, let's go and implement the flip function. Oh, we already have the flip board. Hold on a sec. Does it already work? Or I didn't yet connect that. Uh, CNC flip board flip. Okay. Uh, flip. Flip. Yeah, what 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 what's going wrong? Do I have flip is not a function? You kidding? Then what is it? Then what it is? What what is that? Oh, flip board. Okay, so let's just call it flip board. Yeah, I, I was using. Flip board. Okay, I was just using uh, that within the. Engine. File and class, if you can call that a class. Uh, hold on a sec. Oh, so the reason why this doesn't work is because mm, when I flip, I also need to update the board. Uh, also need to update the board so I need to call draw board 
it's a little bit different compared to what I had before okay flip 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 good flip 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 awesome now uh, one little thing I want to check before we proceed with uh, made in, making our board interactive and actually mo moving the pieces I want to make sure that uh, well, they, the, the colors should be just fine there. Uh, I, I mean, the, the square codes should be just fine. But, oh, okay, hold on a sec. I just, I just wanted to uh, change the on-click function, but I just can inspect the element. And it, it would print me... Oh, it won't print me. The ID 23. Okay, so 23 is... Yeah, that's the initial one. Okay, and this one should be 130. Inspect. Yeah, 130. And now when I flip, I guess this one should be 23. Yeah. And this one should be 130. Inspect. Yeah, awesome. So it seems like the squares are correct. Well, otherwise it won't be printing the pieces in the correct order so yeah well okay so now let's try to make pieces moving okay so what we have mm, no not here here in play JS so I remember I had okay hold on a sec just before we proceed uh, so on click drag start drag or so now now it should be just given an error I guess so let's flip. Yeah, tap piece is not defined. Drag piece, drag over is not defined. And drop piece is not even firing. Okay. So let's start with the tap piece and then we will go for drag and drop. Okay. Control F tap piece. Okay. So, well, I just. What does it rely on? Validate move. Set FEN, we don't need that, so tap piece, validate move. And this drag and drop stuff as well. Okay, so. Yeah, let's actually grab all of them now. And the validate move as well. So. Mm, so I need some game control, some gameplay section. So something that is uh, purely responsible for playing the game, just to make code. I'm sorry, something is on my screen. I mean, not on the screen, but on the laptop. Okay, so let's call it gameplay. So everything that regards to playing the game. Okay, we don't need uh, draw pieces anymore because everything has been incorporated within this flipboard. Okay, and I just... Well, we could have actually started with the drag and drop, but I don't know. So... Okay... Yeah, now let's start with the tap piece. So, first of all, we want to no longer within the engine, just draw the board. So, this would be used to update all the highlights that are already available and those that we would be adding later on. So, if engine get piece, then we highlight. Well, select color, I guess it's here already, is it? Select color. Yeah, it's already here. Okay, good. So, click square, initializing, click lock. Okay, we don't have a click lock. Uh, click lock. Uh, yeah, also, these guys are needed, yeah? Uh, repetitions would have been needed as well. But for now, I think we need these guys. So let's put them above here. Save. Okay. 
so highlighting the square, initializing the click square. Mm. Okay, switching the click lock, initializing user source, user target. Uh, we don't need promote it. We don't promote anything in CNC. Valid move, valid date move user source. So we don't need this promoted. We don't need this promoted. Uh, return move. Are we going to be making that move? Uh, well, for now, I just want, well, probably I just need to grab, uh, I just need to drop the move validation. Oh, engine, hold on a sec. Yeah, this engine move piece, I don't really want this engine move piece for a while. So let's drop the engine for now. Let's just try to make uh, it moving around back and forth. Hold on a sec, if engine get piece invalid. Mm. Oh, move piece, hold on a sec. Uh, move piece is actually what yeah, so th no, this is essential. This this regards to the move validation. We can avoid this. Well, we, we can avoid this for now if we just say like this. So don't update PGN. We don't yet have that. So, and don't think. So no computer response for now. I think this should be literally enough to be able of moving pieces. Uh, Hold on a sec, I'm a little bit confused by... Hold, hold, hold on a sec. Why... Why the... Why it's black now? It's very strange. Flip. Oh, because I switched the flip. Okay. Like this. So flipboard should be working. But if I update, it should be white again. Good. So click, click, and nothing happens. Okay. Play sound is not defined. Okay, play sound. Play sound. Play sound. I want to play some sound. Okay, here is my play sound. Copy. And go into the board function. So draw board. Let's put it here, as far as it regards to the board. So move sound and capture sound. Uh, I, I have renamed these guys to move sound and capture sound like this. Okay, so play sound. Mm. Well, oh, what am I doing? The same stuff. So move sound. Well, maybe it's not a really good idea to use this constant like so here but this is really constant so well it's a, a bit questionable thing regarding the coding style that's I, I just wanted to keep all the constants being capitals like it's usually done define constants okay so click engine get move capture is not a function because it has been renamed so uh, get move capture. Where is that? Okay. Yeah. Uh, get capture flag. It's now called get capture flag. But uh, I just need to make sure that it has been forwarded within the API. So is this one? Mm, get capture flag. Yeah, I guess it's not yet been forwarded so we'll now see for sure yeah it's not it's not there so uh, well let's say um, get capture flag function and I just want to return 
get engine flag taking the move as an argument and here also taking the move as an argument okay yeah that is done for get engine flag no get capture flag what do I what have I done there oh uh, oh get capture okay now this should be working capture play uh sorry capture sound uh capture sound okay uh, but it's a little bit strange that it's not moving on the board oh, oh that's probably because the move piece uh, so it's a little bit wrong behavior though well here the highlight is perfect I really like yeah so it's horribly wrong from the logic perspective but I like how the highlight looks like okay and what would, would be in the dark theme hey what's wrong with the dark theme and oh hold on a sec did I break something are you kidding me what do you mean it's not hold on a sec sad board theme oh how could I yeah it just <laughs> okay mm. okay well, it might be fine might be not that bad actually I really like how it looks like here more okay so let's better get done with with the logic of moving mo uh, moving pieces uh, yeah so engine move piece so this is absolutely essential so validate move engine move from string yeah and return move yeah so th this should be move from string uh, it should be available yeah move from string good it's available and here no hold on a sec I really need this stuff I just don't need to make it think yeah so now it should get resolved come on or hold on a sec Maybe it considers to be promoted piece is not defined. Uh, I can't see the promoted piece. Okay. okay engine move piece is not available so uh, what would it be uh, uh, grab I just grab this move piece uh, from the engine uh, from my Ukun JS and uh, I want to make it a part of the GUI so game control yes make it move piece like this uh, so no more engine just directly straight away say just move piece it's more logic way more logical way of doing things okay mm. engine load moves should be working and the move strain yeah and just draw the board this should be a 
coordinates is not defined. Uh, okay, so here we can use um, get uh, engine uh, square to string. Yeah, I guess that's the name. And here also, no, we don't need the promoter piece. Hold on. Mm. Engine dot square to string. Okay. Mm. Mm, typo. Now it should work. Whoa, user time. Well, this is interesting. Hold on a sec. Uh, where the user time occurs? That user time stuff is interesting. Definitely, but hold on a sec. I just want to know where it occurs. Okay, so first of all, we don't want this promoter piece. But I want to find the user time. Hmm. This is a little bit strange where it takes that. I just need to examine the debug a bit more precisely. Wakun JS. Ah, oh, within the low moves. Okay, so yeah, mm, this is how it works. So. Control F, load moves. So when we are in the GUI mode, uh, then we well, I don't have, I don't yet have this all, all of these variables. Well, probably, okay. User time, score depth, time, and principal variation. Okay, sorry, I've been distracted. One. A million time times okay so uh, let's just probably I don't remember how it works but well probably the search should be setting up this values because I've copy pasted that before so search position yeah it should be it should be so user move uh, GUI score well let's grab this stuff copy fixed time fixed depth well this is also on the cards later on so copy yeah and we just paste this Here. Okay, let's try one more time. Okay, the only thing I'm slightly a bit concerned. So it's now illegal, okay? Because it's black to move. It should not be make an illegal moose it's blinking because of the cache and so if it just is not doing that but something is going horribly wrong so capture sound and the moose sound are swapped why that happens mm. okay where is my play sound Oh, that's because, okay. Uh, okay, so here and here I want to have the move sound. Okay, so let's test this quickly. So we can't do illegal moves. We can switch. Well, this is treated as, as the move. So this is treated as the, as the illegal move. So yeah we can't just switch different pieces well that's maybe a little bit of a downside uh, 
but hopefully not the worst thing ever. So we make a move and make a move, make a capture. The sound seems to be working okay. So guys, uh, I don't know if you hear the sounds. Uh, well, new game. Why new game doesn't work? Control F, new game. Mm. Draw board. Just capture, just to test the sound for captures. Yeah, seems to be perfectly working perfectly well. Okay, uh, not yet searching anything, but okay. Okay, so what else what I, was I doing within this new game? Okay, so I was resetting all the stuff, including the repetitions. Yeah, I'm not checking for repetitions yet. That would be within the think part. Mm. Well, I think, yeah, we can just actually well, it's not, it's not exactly what I was doing, but as far as I already have all these variables, copy, I think this might be the case. I just want to uh, draw board, okay. We don't yet have the repetitions. Yes, yeah, so repetitions are coming after the user source and target. Cool. Okay, so hold on a sec. One hundred three nine. Oh, sorry. So, flip, should be still working, and new game, and flip, okay, so new game doesn't obviously mean that we need to flip the board, right? Okay, good, so what else? Um, yeah, probably now we should go for drag and drop stuff, and then we'll go for handling the engine. Mm, I was I was thinking about uh, making the behavior a little bit different in order to avoid some a bit weird bugs regarding timing. I mean, like sound is not always playing. Well, just forget that. Uh, probably it's not the topic for a video. So I would now probably try to bring it to the state where my Wukun.js was, and then we'll think. Then I will make some, probably, uh, uh, j just lots of boring debugging there that not, not nothing really interesting to have a look at. Okay, so, um, first of all, uh, source equals to empty. I think we can just make it like this. I'm not sure if it works. If it doesn't, that would be a bit of a bit of a pain. But I hope this should be working. So, drop piece target square promoted. We don't care about promoted. Validate. We don't need promoted. Uh, move piece. We don't need promoted. Okay. Okay. Okay, don't need, don't update PGN for now. We only have that. Well, actually, PGN would be also the copy paste because 
Yeah, uh, I, 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 I decided to use the unified PGN like this, the UCI format, not the game specific because the game specific is, is a hell really. So, yeah, I think now drag and drop should be working. I just don't want to. make engine think for a while and al also another th option would be to probably for analysis uh, well I guess well I don't have a button to download PGN which is a little bit of a pain mm. but well mm, yeah that's a little bit of a pain Okay, so all this design stuff is not on the cards now. So let's try drag and drop. So, okay, something has gone, gone horribly wrong with the drop. Engine move piece is not a function. Yeah, because, yeah, definitely it's no longer within the engine scope. Oh, sorry. Just a move piece from now on. I just want to make sure that no more promoted is available g promote it it's not available okay good so try again okay hold on a sec uh highlight doesn't work highlight doesn't work everything else is fine yeah everything else is fine but highlight mm, That's because of this. So now highlight should be restored. Okay, good. Good. Takes. Takes. Yeah, awesome. Just awesome. I think this is just just awesome, really. Okay. Okay, seems like it's working. Yeah, I kind of pretty like it. I pretty like it. Okay, so is this enough for this video? I'm just thinking. Well, probably. Well, the problem is that still I can't deal with the bots because just. Mm, I don't have an opening books for them. Uh, I really need to research the openings as, uh, as a human player, so it's a little bit, uh, it's a little bit unsound regarding the bots. But hold on a sec, I'm just, I'm just wondering, uh, does the thing function? Uh, yeah, I have this gap book move. Whoa. Well, I could have just make a proof of concept. Uh, let's say a couple of moves for both sides. That could have be the case. Mm. Okay, engine in check. GUI side, yeah. So it, it involves uh, a little bit of work. Mm. Mm-hmm. Also, well, the repetition detection is still on the cards, but now it would be the lose for a site that is losing, that, that is forcing the repetition, but I, I, I don't yet have a way to, to figure that out. Okay, guys, so probably at the moment, just to, just to show you how it's playing, because, uh, I'm really tempted to see that on my own as well. We'll probably use some limited functionality for this thing. Yeah, I think we just use some limited functionality. Uh, mm. Yeah, the 
problem is that all the timings are set by the bots now. Yeah, so they all rely on this. Okay, okay, uh, we can still make it doing some moves. Copy. Mm, this is potentially buggy code that I don't really want to reuse, but okay. Okay, so think. Think. Uh, we don't want promoted pieces. Okay, engine in check. Well, this is another hack to come up with. So, well, it can work without it. I'll, I'll make it later on. Reset time control. It should be working. Uh, get time control should be working. Let's make it. Uh, let's make it just one second per, per move. Hard coded for now. J just just to give you an idea that it's capable of playing. Uh, book move. Yeah, let's get rid of this stuff for now. We're not using opening books. Mm. Yeah, I, I, I would have better make this on my own without the video and then just showcase the end result because it's not really for uh, video format. Lots of debugging, very boring stuff. Uh, best move engine. Yeah, I think. So let's just make it like best move engine search. And let's make it 64. So it would be searching for one second, but so infinite depth, but uh, kind of max or infinite depth, but it should be searching for one second only. We don't want any promoted pieces. Get source square. This guys might not be yet provided via the API. Okay, ju just just let's try to make it play. Mm, repetitions plus plus. Uh, well, uh, okay. I just I just keep this rules for now. I just keep this rules for now. Oh, stable is also win, so we need to make sure which side is winning. Okay, promoted piece. We don't need promoted piece. Okay, okay, and here uh, think in tap piece and think here. Save and I hold my breath and try to make a move. Nothing happens. Okay, it's predictable. So what's wrong? Okay, get source square is not is not on the cards yet. So let's provide provide that uh, public API. So here were the get move capture. We can also say get source square and function takes. Takes move and return get source square and move and here the same but get target square and here get target square. Okay. Hooray! Engine is calculating. Okay. Okay, hold on a sec. Get source square is not a function. CNC two six one. Hold on a sec. Two six one. Hold on a sec. Did I misspell it? Oh, 
Oh. <laughs> okay. Obviously, as usual, get target square. But in that case, oh, so it, it start, started searching but didn't do anything. Okay. Okay. Is repetition is not a function? Uh, am I using engine is repetition? Okay. Yeah, I guess that's just my casual is repetition. The one that is used within the search, right? Uh, still, I want to grab it from here. Is repetition? Oh, uh, not not grab anything, but just yeah, go into public API. Mm. So where to put it? Is repetition for timing or board methods? Probably here. So is repetition. And I guess I need to return it because I'm I'm incrementing the result. Yeah, is repetition okay? Excuse me. get 50 should be get 60 okay get 60 120 sorry uh, let's have a look Okay, we don't have the material draw function, which is probably a bad thing, really. Yeah, but mm, I have no idea how to make that, at least for now. So we'll just drop that. Oh, man, I don't have generate legal moves as well. Mm. Okay. Did I did I grab the generate legal moose? Read legal moose. Nope. Generate legal moose. Copy. Let's find the generate moves and paste it down below uh, I need to make sure that it fits the CNC okay so let legal moves move list so first of all why do I clear search here completely unclear I don't remember why do I clear search oh because no hold on a sec hold on a sec this order matters or nope well maybe to I swear I don't remember why did I want to clear this clear the search there mm, here should be done like this some new updates now generate moves returns the move list count move continue legal moves push take back mm. 
oh sorry generate legal moves function uh, return generate legal moves let's have a look So that's just the routine to check for legal moves. Delay move. Oh, what is the delay move? Control F. Delay move. Oh, okay, so. Well, I actually don't need this, so it would be zero. Yeah, doesn't matter. Okay, that's just the hacks to make sounds not skipping when the book move uh, returns immediately. Just uh, some variable numbers for uh, some uh, variable uh, milliseconds for uh, for a delay to set within the set timeout function when it comes uh, when the book move occurs. Okay. Engine move piece is not a function because just simply the move piece. Okay. Just draw the board. Uh, get piece, target square. Uh, like this, play sound. It should now be capable of playing CNC. Cool. Okay, guys, so start a new game. So I'm playing CNC versus my engine for the very first time ever. So let's see. How likely this comes. So he defends the pawn. Well, so I go for an opening that I know. So he hit, he's trying to hit my pawn here. Can I defend this with a knight? So, uh, with a bishop, say. Oh, uh, it's sorry. I didn't yet implement the undo. Oh, <laughs> this is so horrible. Okay, didn't yet implement the undo. Okay, so should be. Oh, just, did I just blunder a pawn? Okay, this is unfair. This is getting really unfair. Okay. This is getting really unfair. Yeah, it's, it's a horrible, horrible game. I, 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 I think I will get checkmate equipped pretty soon. Okay. Yeah, uh, something has gone horribly wrong. Okay, he, he now attacks my rook. Okay, at the very least. Okay, what's going wrong there? engine in check is not a function mm. am I in check control F I didn't yet implement that so maybe checks for for it somewhere else Uh, okay, let's implement this just to avoid this disaster. Mm. Okay, seems to be essential, th essential thing here. Engine in check. So, what did I mean by this in check? So that should be the function. No, it's it's the in the it's within the API. Hold on public so in check should be here yeah I just grab this 
copy should be working. Mm. Okay, now, now we'll try to play better. So yeah, this engine seems to be way more serious compared to what I... Uh, 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 like compared to novice play uh, engines I've, I've been playing before. It doesn't have an opening book, so it makes moves on its own. Okay, so... See, like, he pushed the pawn to promote the knight. Now he can grab this. Well, this is protected, he can grab this. Uh, it might sp uh, if it goes here, it just attacks my... Oh my god, I'm, al I'm already losing here. Okay, at very least, uh, I can defend my pawn doesn't capture it for some reason so maybe it's not that disastrous yet yeah it's incredibly difficult to play the openings you know versus engine because you're just getting crushed before anything else so he would probably grab my cannon yeah I feel like I'm already losing this game hold on a sec what's wrong again Okay, what's wrong? Is my computer heading again? Come on. Did I blunder a checkmate? a bit weird okay so uh, I will try to open with the console uh, I'll, I'll, I'll try to play with the console being open to make sure that if any disaster happens that I at least I know what's happening let me just disable the cache uh, because yeah I just don't want to don't really want to uh, it blinking yeah this move is very solid so maybe I should have just pushed the pawn first I've never been thinking of this opportunity, so it just uh, goes instantly. Hold on a sec, g7 to h5. Yes, yeah, something is horribly wrong, but I have no idea what in particular. Yeah, it's getting stuck somewhere. And I have no idea what's going wrong. Hmm. Yeah, unfortunately the demonstration of plane versus engine didn't work. So now I would be having lots of hours debugging this stuff. Uh, okay, I just try to move a piece back and forth just to see uh, how stable engine is so what kind of specific may maybe some sort of a specific okay so now I'm in, in the ch I'm in check so I just uh, wait until engine mates me okay just it's all of my pieces I really hope the engine is gonna mate me well uh, by the way you can go for uh, perpetual check uh, I didn't yet deal uh, I don't I don't yet deal with that uh, yeah correctly okay come on just go and mate me you just go and mate me man okay so I need to go somewhere okay Okay, okay, check, and this is the checkmate, yeah, mate, okay, so at real list we see that the engine is capable of mating, now, I have no idea uh, what actually goes wrong when I try to play normally, mm, it's a little bit hard to say what was going wrong, now it seems to be perfect, working perfectly well. Okay. So, 
trying to play the open and I know okay so I try to attack the no this is covered by the cannon yeah by the way well it seems like it's started working so probably because of disabling cache I made that was a bit of a disaster yeah, it's I, I don't it's, this theme is also cool but yeah it's hurts the ice a little bit I can't see the board suddenly so let's draw back to the light theme yeah I don't even know where to go uh, okay I just blunder it something did I did I blunder So unfortunately I can't take the rook. Now my rook is under fire. Okay. Now again, oh my god, stop hunting my rook. Yeah, but now, yeah, this is the, oh, he was the repetition. This is already cool. This is already cool. So wants to grab this pawn. Well, he's, he's very strong. It's much stronger. Uh, he's much stronger than the app uh, I was playing with. Well, probably because of the level. Well, let's. This one second per move is is too strong for me. Oh, sorry. It's not a cannon. Uh, it's it's not a knight. It's a cannon. So I don't even know what to do. Try to attack the knight. Oh, <laughs> no undo. I didn't <laughs> didn't yet implement the undo. Okay, okay, guys. Let, let let me quickly implement the undo because yeah, it's impossible to play without undo. Mm. Engine take back. I hope that uh, take back is yeah, it's not on the cards yet. Take back function take back save uh, oh, I don't yet take back entirely copy mm. Mm. Just draw the board. Uh, do I have the game result already? Yeah, good. Okay, okay, let's try again. So, undo works. Yeah, fine. Yeah, now let's play. Now let's play CNC. Uh, oh, different. Different game, do different move. This is interesting. Oh, what have I done? No, no, no. What have I done? Uh, sorry, sorry. No, I didn't mean that. Uh, I didn't mean that. Uh, well, let's actually try to push this pawn forwards. Uh, not expected, but okay. Let's uh, let's protect the pawn. Let's try to go for an attack. Yeah, I I'm sorry. Uh, uh. I'm not playing CNC now. I'm, I'm actually testing the engine. That's a bit different. Yeah. So uh, I really hope to make really lots of videos in the future. Actually, uh, let's take some videos on how to play CNC. Uh, how I learn. How I learn to play CNC, basically. Yeah. And it hands again. So I have no idea why this is happening. And this is so weird. Uh, okay. Becomes unresponsive. Yeah, this is this is unfortunate, really. So, really, lots of debugging is on the cards now. But again, I guess I, I don't really want to. Uh, I don't really want to uh, torture you with uh, with this sort of a debugging. It's not it's not interesting at all. It's really boring. So, I would rather try to debug this on my own, and then we'll see uh, kind of like the end result. Also, try to play on this uh, difficulty level. So. Uh, I would rather go for demonstration of the 
the first release of the amp product uh, rather than going for this uh, all this debugging stuff yeah well anyway uh, I think this is quite pretty interesting experience so by the way yeah yeah make move is not oh make move is also I didn't yet implement the make move or oh no no I did well this the first move is a little bit strange he's attacking my pawn but I can no I can defend like that Uh, okay, can go like this. Yeah, so we go. We can also play. We can also play with the black pieces. Yeah, but yeah, uh, I really need to fix those horrible bugs. Well, generally, generally it seems to be working, but yeah, uh, the matter is within all of these tiny little details. So, okay, guys, I think this is it from my side. Uh, I wish you all the best. Thanks for watching. Thanks for following this series. Well, I think that the next video would be the last in the series because, well, I really hope to introduce the AMP product. And regarding the further uh, development, well, it's really hard to see where it's about to be proceeding. Now, when I see this picture, uh, I don't really want to pollute this with the legal moves being highlighted, even though it's quite pretty trivial to implement. But I just don't really, uh, I really like how, how, how it is now. I don't, I don't really want to make uh, uh, this extra stuff there. I don't know why. I just feel, I just feel that would have been horribly wrong. It would kill the beauty of the app so yeah so I think that after this series uh, after the the next and hopefully probably the last not hopefully but probably the last video within this uh, JavaScript CNC engine after that uh, I will probably focus a little bit on the game of CNC as uh, itself uh, as a human player and uh, would it be making some videos on how to play like how I play versus this app I think th this would be my partner starting from the random player uh, I'm going to implement the random player here then some one de one play depth etc etc so different bots to to play with so yeah that, that might be very interesting that might be very very interesting then to consider yeah by the way, as the bots, I can use a couple of YouTubers uh, I already subscribed to regarding uh, this uh, uh, regarding Chinese chess CNC. Yeah, so like want I need to be the strongest player here? I think in ten seconds. Yeah, that would be fun. I think that would be fun. Yeah. That would be fun. Okay, guys, yeah, this is it from my side. Thanks for watching. Until the next time, and take care.